हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम साफिया वोहरा वेलकम टू एस एफ वोहरा क्लासेस सो टुडे वी डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड दैट लिफ मॉर्फोलॉजी दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी मच यूजफुल फॉर द बी एस एंड एम एस सी स्टूडेंट्स द लिफ इज प्लांट ऑर्गन देर एग्जिस्ट अबाउट द ग्राउंड and it specialized to carry after the process of photosynthesis leaves develop at the node at the stem and generally have flat and lateral structure leaves are mostly green in color due to the presence of a compound called chlorophyll leaves can have many different shapes size and textures leaves originated from shoot apex shoot apical meristem and the axillary bud is an embryonic shoot located in the axil of a leaf the meristem found a typical shoot is known as shoot apical meristem the typical leaf has three main parts leaf base petiole and lamina the leaf base is the lowest part of a leaf lamina that is near the petiole the stipules are the small lateral appendages present on either side of the leaf base in some leguminous plants or swollen leaf base is called as pulvines the petiole is the stalk that attaches the leaf blade the stem and is able to twist the leaf to face the sun petiole the slender stem that supports the blade of a leaf petiole holds the leaf blade to blight long thin flexible petals allows the leaf blade to flutter in wind thereby cooling the leaf and bringing fresh air to the leaf surface the lamina is the expanded flat component of the leaf which contains the chloroplast the lamina also has many veins and veinlets included usually the lamina has permanently vein run it to its midrib leaf venation is the arrangement of veins in lamina of the leaf venation is the pattern of veins in the blade of a leaf two types of venation are reticulate venation and parallel venation in reticulate venation network or web like arrangement all over the leaf blade or lamina it is called as reticulate venation example of plant showing reticulate venation include rose tulsi hibiscus when veins are arranged parallel to one another all over the leaf blade or lamina is called as parallel venation example of grains banana canna etc the main function of a leaf is to produce food for the plant by photosynthesis transport of water minerals and food and provides rigidity to the lamina there are two different types of leaves simple and compound leaves lamina is simple leaf is usually entire the incisions do not touch the midrib on the other hand in compound leaves the incision reach the midrib and our back several is leaflets both simple and compound leaves have a burdenly axillary bud petiole bud do not develop in the axil leaf of the compound leaf both simple and compound leaves have a burdenly axillary bud petiole bud do not develop 
in the axial leaf of the compound leaf. Compound leaf after the classified pinnately and palmately compound leaves. In pinnately compound leaves, which is divided into smaller leaflets, those leaflets arrange on each side of the leaf central stalk or reaches or axis is midrib of the leaf. Palmately compound leaves has its leaflets radially radiating outwards from the end of the petiole like fingers of the palm of a hand. The part from classify leaves as simple and complex. They also idea divided opposite alternate and whole on the basis of the pattern of arrangement of a branch. This system as pilotaxy. It is of three types alternate, opposite and whole. Then with opposite phyllotaxy have two leaves arising from the node in opposite directions. It is found in guava and calotropis. In alternate phyllotaxy, a single leaf arises from the node of a branch. Alternate phyllotaxy, only one leaf on each node and the leaf next node is in the opposite direction. Alternate phyllotaxy in seen in the plant, hibiscus and sunflower. And finally hold phyllotaxy, two or more leaves on each node, formula hold as seen in Alstonia. A leaf has many functions apart from the primary functions photosynthesis most leaves have stomata which open and close the regulate carbon dioxide oxygen and water vapor exchange with the atmosphere leaves therefore are in an important part of a plant the part from carry out the chief functions of photosynthesis, store food and provide protection and support many plants. Thank you so much.